Hello everyone, this is Joy and in this series of video lectures, I will solve all the physics related problems that have appeared in the NEET exams throughout the last 10 years. That is from 2013 to 2022. And I will also try to provide some additional information related to each problem in order to improve your understanding of that specific problem and to enable you to solve other problems utilizing that knowledge. So let's solve our first problem that came in NEET 2022 and the problem is the dimensions ml t to the power minus 2 a to the power minus 2 belongs to the and four options are given electric permittivity, magnetic flux, self inductance and magnetic permeability. That is, we need to identify the physical quantity whose dimensional formula is ml t to the power minus 2 a to the power minus 2. The correct answer is magnetic permeability. Now to derive the dimensional formula for magnetic permeability, we can use the expression for the force between two parallel current carrying wires. The force per unit length between two such wires is given by F equals to mu naught I1 times I2 by 2 pi r. Here F is the force per unit length that is capital F by total length L. And in this expression mu naught is the magnetic permeability in free space. I1 and I2 are the currents through the first and second wires. And R is the separation between the wires. Now this expression can be rearranged as mu naught equals to f times 2 pi r by i1 times i2. Using this expression, one can derive the dimensional formula for mu naught. So to derive the dimensional formula for mu naught, you only need to know the dimensional formulas for small f, small r, i1 and i2. Here 2 pi is a dimension less constant, so we can drop this term. Therefore, the dimension of mu naught is equals to m t to the power minus 2, which is the dimensional formula for small f, that is force per unit length. The dimensional formula for r is L, and the dimensional formula for i1 and i2 is denoted by capital A, which is the dimensional formula for current in SI units. So now if you calculate the powers properly of same physical quantities, then the dimensional formula for mu naught will be ml t to the power minus 2 a to the power minus 2. So the correct answer is option 4. Now for rest of the options, say for electric permittivity, the dimensional formula is given by m inverse l to the power minus 3 t to the power 4 a square. The dimensional formula for magnetic flux is given by ml square t to the power minus 2 a inverse. And for self inductance, the dimensional formula is given by ml square t to the power minus 2 a to the power minus 2. Now let's go to our next problem. Our next problem is we have to match list 1 with list 2. In list 1, 4 physical quantities are given and in list 2, Four dimensional formulas are given and we have to choose the correct answer from the options given. So let's consider the first physical quantity which is the gravitational constant. It is a constant relating the force of gravitational attraction between two bodies to their masses and their distance from each other in Newton's law of gravitation. Its dimensional formula is given by m inverse l cube t to the power minus 2. The next physical quantity is gravitational potential energy. It is the energy an object processes because of its position in a gravitational field. Its dimensional formula is given by ml square t to the power minus 2. The next one is gravitational potential. It is equal to the work done by the gravitational field moving a body to its given position in space from infinity and its dimensional formula is L square t to the power minus 2. And our last physical quantity is gravitational field intensity. It is the strength of our gravitational field 
which is applied on a unit test mass and its dimensional formula is l t to the power minus 2 so among the four options given option 3 will be the correct answer our next problem is plane angle and solid angle have both units and dimensions units but no dimensions dimensions but no units no units and no dimensions this question came in NEET 2022 now to solve these problems we need to know what are plane angles and solid angles plane angle is the ratio of substandard arc length on the circle to radius and it is defined as arc over radius now both arc and radius have the dimension of length so it is l over l so the dimensional formula for plane angle will be m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 that is plane angle has no dimensions but its unit is radian now for the solid angle which is the ratio of substantive area on a sphere to radius squared and it is defined as area over radius square now both area and radius square have the same dimensional formula that is l square so the dimensional formula for solid angle will be m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 so solid angles also have no dimension but its unit is stay radian now just for an additional information plane angle subtended at the center of the circle is 2 pi radians and solid angle subtended at the center of a sphere is 4 pi radians so the plane angle and solid angle do not have any dimensions but they both have units so option 2 is the correct answer our next problem is the physical quantity that has the same dimensional formula as pressure is and four options are given coefficient of viscosity force momentum and young's modulus of elasticity so to solve this problem we need to know the dimensional formula for pressure as well as the four options given as we know pressure is defined as force per unit area now to evaluate the dimensional formula for pressure we need to know the dimensional formula for force and area for force the dimensional formula is given by ml t to the power minus 2 and for area it is l square so the dimensional formula for pressure will be m l inverse t to the power minus 2 so it is clear that force and pressure can't have the same dimensional formula so option b can't be a correct answer now for momentum which is defined as mass time velocity the dimensional formula is given by ml t inverse which is also not same as the dimensional formula for pressure so option c is also wrong now the coefficient of viscosity is defined through the relation f is equals to eta a dv dx so to evaluate the dimensional formula for eta we need to know the dimensional formula for f a and dv dx for f the dimensional formula is a mil t to the power minus 2 a is l square and dv dx which is the velocity gradient dimensional formula is t inverse therefore the dimensional formula for eta will be m l inverse t inverse so it is also not same as the dimensional formula of pressure now our last physical quantity is young's modulus of elasticity now young's modulus is defined as the ratio of stress over strain now strain is force per unit area and strain is delta l by l so we can also write it as t over delta l by l therefore to determine the dimensional formula of young's modulus of elasticity we need to know the dimensional formula for pressure and the ratio of delta l over l now l is the length and delta l is the change in length therefore both of them have the same dimensional formula of length so delta l over l should be a dimensionless quantity so if we put these conditions in the above expression then we will get that dimensional formula for pressure is same as the dimensional formula for Young's modulus of elasticity 
so option d is the correct answer now our next problem is if force capital a acceleration capital a and time capital t are chosen as the fundamental physical quantities find the dimensions of energy and four options are given now to solve this problem we need to apply the principle of homogeneity of dimensions according to principle of homogeneity of dimension equation containing physical quantities will be dimensionally correct if the dimensions of the terms occurring on both sides of the equations are same now let energy e depends on f a and t up to some arbitrary powers say a b and c respectively so we can write e is proportional to f to the power a a to the power b t to the power c so now we need to write the dimensional formula for each quantities that is energy e force f acceleration a and time t so for energy e the dimensional formula is m l square t to the power minus 2 for a it is m l t to the power minus 2 for a that is acceleration the dimensional formula is l t to the power minus 2 and t is the time whose dimensional formula is t now if we collect the powers of same physical quantities then the relation will look like this that is m l t to the power minus 2 is proportional to m to the power a l to the power a plus b t to the power minus 2a minus 2b plus c now if you compare the dimensions of similar physical quantities on each side of the equation then you can write a is equals to 1 a plus b equals to 2 minus 2a minus 2b plus c equals to 2 and if you solve these three equations you can determine the value of a b and c and after solving the value of a b and c will be a is equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 2 therefore the dimensional formula for energy will be f a t square so option 4 is the correct answer so that's it for now see you in the next video